want to read a few verses from uh, John chapter 5, John chapter 5 and verse 41. The Lord Jesus Christ speaking, he says, I receive not honour from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. He's talking to the Jews at this time. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honour one of another, and seek not the honour that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? You see, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And the law is our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that we might understand that we are sinners in the sight of a holy and just sin-hating God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that, we're headed down to hell to the judgment of God. God doesn't want to have to judge us, but he judged his son Jesus Christ upon the cross that you and I could have forgiveness for our sins. You see, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. I wonder, is he your Saviour? This afternoon, have you been born again into God's family through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ? It's so important, so urgent. We need to get right with God. We need our sins forgiven. Because otherwise we'll face the judgment of God. And there's no need for that. You at this particular time can come to know Jesus Christ as your Saviour. Whom to know is life eternal. You see, he that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you received him as your Saviour? You see, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. The point is this, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Which means that you and I can have forgiveness for our sins. His precious blood was shed upon the cross as a full payment for all those who will reach out the hand of faith, come in repentance toward God. Just acknowledge that you're a sinner before the God of heaven. Repentance is a change of mind. Coming to God and agreeing with him that, yes, I realize that I'm a sinner. And then what you need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. A wonderful thing to know that your sins are forgiven and you're on your way to heaven. I mean, imagine if you were to die right now, where would you be? Would you be up in heaven through faith in Christ? Or would you be down in hell because you've rejected or neglected the only way of salvation? There's only one way. The Lord Jesus Christ said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Are you prepared to come? in repentance and faith. Just acknowledge that you're a sinner before the God of heaven and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Remember, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Your soul can be saved through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. In him we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins.